Hi and welcome to MQW Driving School another test video. This test video is a fail. The main reason to put the failed videos more than the past videos so people can learn from the mistakes and sometimes it's requested by the client that they want to see where exactly they got failed so they can work on that failing points with the instructors or sometimes they like to do the mock test one more time on the same route they have used on the test. On the roundabout we're going left first exit that's going to be a 40 speed going to start after the roundabout on the left side is a green color board which is known as primary route fast route and that's why it's a 40 mile speed road. This road is very wide so try not to drive very center of the road try to stay one meter from the left so give people a space to overtake you from the right. This lane is going to split from one lane to two lane near the traffic light junction. That is what you normally should be expecting. Whenever the lane split from 1 to 2, you try to stay the car on the left lane as the left lane is a normal driving position. Left lane go back to the single track lane so make sure if anybody overtaking from the right so look on the mirror so if they're trying to pass you let them pass you first. Then after that McDonald's again lane splitting from 1 to 2 and if you're going straight and left it's better to stay in the left lane and if you're going right side of the traffic light from the next junctions then you can stay right lane in advance. Let's say if you're not sure about it you can stay left lane as normal and when it's safe for you check the mirror give the signal on the right side look the final check on the right and when safe you can change lane from left to the right but once you're in the right lane try not to drive slow now you're going to see something which should not be like that that's called lane discipline choosing the best lane for your driving. So now this uh, student is going to change lane back to the left where they need to be just stay left from the start. So that is more like unnecessary lane change but let's say if you done it properly with the mirror signal that is fine especially if you using the sat driving and you wasn't sure what to do at first stage and you stayed in the right lane and later on you going back but remember if you are on the right lane and driving slow and everyone start overtaking from the left side that's also count as a serious mistake because you are on the danger zone now this roundabout if you stay in the left lane the left lane split into two lanes one go left one go straight so depending on your journey you might go left might go straight but majority of the time you go straight from this roundabout because that's where the 70 mile speed limit road come up and that's where they test you on the fast road. About here you do mirror signal left, look the speed coming 70 mile national limit and then make sure you drive 70 on this road, driving slow without reason count as a mistake.
Sometime this traffic light junction you take a left turn in the test and join the 30 mile road towards Edel and sometime you continue straight on 70 mile road. Now this is a long stretch of the road so you make sure if it's all clear and safe you drive 70. If left lane is blocked by any reason and you think the right lane is totally empty you are allowed to do the mirror signal and change the lane and overtake the lorry. When they don't take the last traffic light left turn, the majority of the time they take this traffic light junction left turn. After the turning left, the streets are 20 mile speed roads. There is a car park on the right home base. They might take you there for the bay parking, forward and back their choice. On this route, when they start the test, this is the first time they got opportunity to ask you to do some moving and stopping. In other driving test routes, if they do have the opportunity to ask about the moving and stopping early, they try to give you the early and stopping early as possible they can. But in this route, this is the only chance. When they come on these streets, they might give you emergency brake exercise, parallel parking or pull up on the right side when it's safe. These maneuvers can be expected on these streets.
So this student got the parallel parking on these streets. That is a serious mistake here because starting was quite okay to go and stop next to the car in the middle of the road. Then use the reverse gear left signal if someone around you. Then reverse the car back a little bit. Then turn the wheel to the left because you're parking the car on the left side of the road. But after that, when you reach one o'clock or when your front is swing towards the one o'clock, then try to make the wheel straight. Don't turn the wheel right. And when you straight, then go close to the curb first, then turn the wheel right. If you're going to turn the wheel right all the way in the middle of the road, then the car will get straight in the middle of the road. That is what happened. This is wasn't like nice, good parking on the left side of the road. It's totally in the middle of the road, very far from the curb, not realizing it. And then same time, the other situations develop a lot, like other cars going to come from front and back. It's going to be more messed up. And when the examiner say don't go more than two car space back, then try not to keep reversing without a reason. If you have this much big gap in front of your car, then you better go for the drive gear and correct yourself straight from the front. So this maneuver is failed because it's keep reversing more than two car space back. Second reason is too much in the middle of the road. Third reason, the cars are coming from your surrounding and you're too busy doing your maneuver and don't see the things around you and now the cars are waiting for you to go first situations are more worst and that way all this scenario make a serious fault and the test technically fail here Then they keep you moving around the street. Streets are all same. Just make sure you look for the road sign, look for the road markings, and then make your turning left and right. And don't miss any turning. Don't miss any road signs. Don't miss any road markings, speed signs. Now we're going towards the roundabout which is one of the different roundabout in the center. It is not hard but people fail here a lot. First there is a warning on the left say is a roundabout which people miss. So if it's a roundabout treat it like a roundabout not like a junction. On this roundabout you might go left first exit you might go right fourth exit. In this test situation, we are going to take a left turn, first exit and then going straight on the 30 mile road. You are coming out from the 20 miles and going in a 30 miles road.
Whenever you're traveling down the hill, make sure your speed don't increase more than the limit of the road. This road leads you towards the little bit country lane but so far all this is 30 miles so don't need to increase the speed. It used to be 60 afterwards but they are using the 30 signs these days so you must obey what is the new speed limit which is 30 these days. You will see the 30 board on the floor so make sure which sign you see on the floor that is what you're going to obey. So this is going to be the 30 mile driving so remember that. This is a double bend. Make sure this double bend goes slow. You don't have to be Z30 on these bends. Just try to manage safely. Keep it all the way on the 30 mile road then later on they might ask you to take a left turn which is a 40 speed limit.
this road you will see some bend and corners some bridges narrow roads so careful you don't have to drive his x40 if it's not safe for you to drive 40 so don't think he's a target that's a warning of the junction you might take left turn you might go straight You will see some bridge which say that is going to get narrow from the center of the road. Both cars can be in the middle of the road near the center line. So take care in that situation is a must thing. That speed not going to stay 40 all the time. It might going to change to 30s about now. Careful in the meeting traffic situation, if you do get close to any car so close, then count as a serious mistake. Getting close to the cars is count clearance, serious mistake. Now it's going to be a right turning, then after that it's going to be a left turning. So entering in 20. You was on 30, now 20.
Now you're taking another left turn that will be a 40 road after the petrol pump. When you, get, when you get the dual carriageway, stay in the left side of the road as normal. Then you're going to approach the roundabout, the large one. The examiner might say you to take third exit on the right towards the Bradford side. So first change the lane safely with checking mirror signal and the blind spot. So after the lane change, this right lane is not going to take you right, it's going to split you again. So then you stay far to the right to go right, but you stayed in the middle. If you look on the arrow on the floor, you say go straight. And you was going right side, third exit. If you by mistake on this arrow, which say go straight, you, you, you should have stayed in the same lane, go straight next to the police car in the middle lane, and mirror signal left and go straight then is not a fail or not a mistake but you already done some serious mistake twice one in the parallel parking one in clearance this is count as your third one now so that's one of the more dangerous one because you're dealing with the high speed roads L left side is 70 right is 40 and you are staying in a middle lane which is going straight and you're going to use the middle lane to turn right that is a dangerous action or dangerous maneuver so you can't stay in this lane and go right you can go straight that is acceptable so that's another serious mistake and you are on the 40 road now If you notice, it's not about people drive bad all the time in the test, they drive very well in the test, but because of the 40 minutes time pressure, or 38, let's say 35 to 38 minutes, or 38 to 40 minutes, then this time pressure, they don't realize what they're doing, the mind gets shut down for a time being, and that time being, or that few seconds, they do serious fault, and they get failed. So, whatever you was doing before, Try to concentrate yourself for all the road sign, road marking and all the rule and regulation. You just need to keep it the same way all the time whenever you're behind the wheels of the driving. Now we're going to approach with another roundabout soon. That will be the third exit on your right side towards the Hotsworth.
Like now, you are standing on the right side of the road. There's no road marking. You stay right, and then when you halfway there, second exit, mirror signal left. Keep left. Look left. Go in the street. Now, how come you did this? You just need to do the other one same like that. So that means you know how to do it. You have the knowledge, but it's just like not paying concentration on that time, not looking properly on the roads and road marking, and you up in the failing mistake. But again, learn from your mistakes. Come back again. We do another mock test and take you back to the test, and uh, we have the facility to find you early test dates in Leeds and take you back quickly. We can. So see you soon again.